Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We are live. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Welcome. Welcome to today's live broadcast. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Tonight, we are dealing with a very, very important issue. Hallelujah. Um, I had scheduled to come in at some point this evening, but it was almost cancelled. I know that was the devil, but to see God has better plans. So, hallelujah. Today's broadcast is, I want you to be very focused. We are addressing something that can change your life. I'm talking about familiar spirit and things are wrong in the bloodline. I have been delivered from, from sore throats and a bit of cold, so I'm not going to claim it, but the Lord has delivered me. So if you see me coughing or, you know, dashing out to, you know, click, claim, dashing out to, you know, click, claim my nose, doesn't matter, just keep praying. You're not here for me, you're here for Jesus Christ. I'm nothing but a vessel, and I know Jesus Christ is just going to use me and speak to me today by the Holy Ghost. So, like I said, tonight is a different sort of broadcast. I want you to please pay attention. Do not be distracted. Please, hallelujah. We have something very, very important issue that we're going to deal with. We're talking about familiar spirits. Familiar spirit is not just any other spirit. There's a reason why it's called familiar. It means that it knows you, it's used to you. Hallelujah. Begin to thank the Lord. Say thank you, Jesus. Thank you for my deliverance. Thank you for breaking me away from the powers of my father's house. Thank you that the power that controls my parents will not be able to control me. Thank you for revelation knowledge. For some of you, it is the revelation knowledge from tonight that is going to set you free. For a lot of you, it is the revelation knowledge. The prayers we're going to pray as well as we go on and in the end. All the combination is what is going to set us free tonight. But this is not the sort of prayer that you pray and you just think is not important or is irrelevant. I didn't, like I said, I didn't want to come on tonight. But then, you know, the Lord encouraged me concerning something that was going to hinder me. And then it came to my mind that, hang on a minute. The devil does not even have a break. He doesn't go on holiday. So we cannot have a break before fighting a war can't have a break hallelujah <coughs> and we're in a battle so if it's ill regardless of how i feel you know i'm here because the lord wants me to be here and the lord wants it to be done tonight i was going to postpone it to tomorrow night and i said no tonight do it hallelujah thank you jesus somebody just say thank you jesus raka take it ebo shataba reke se te 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 kaye debo shita Holy Ghost, take control. Take control, Jesus Christ. I am nothing but a vessel. But I yield myself to you. Let out of my mouth proceed a sword. A sword. Anything that has not been ordained in the life of your people, I receive the mandate to pull it down by the power in the name of Jesus. Reke setebo. Any familiar spirit that has been following you since the day that you were born to this point. Today, there shall be a separation by the blood. Today, we are going to call upon the name of the Lord. And he's going to answer us and show us, and show us great and mighty things which we did not know. Hallelujah. <coughs> Don't worry about me. I'm healed by in the name of Jesus. Don't worry about me. Just make sure that you are thanking the Lord. Make sure that you're in you know, a thanksgiving mood. Make sure that you are rejoicing with God. Make sure that you're yielding yourself to the Holy Spirit. Say, Holy Spirit, take control of my vessel. Take control of this um, 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 program. I put, I soak you in the blood of Jesus. Everyone under the sound of my voice, you the listener, you that is watching me, I soak you in the pool of the blood of Jesus. I cover this broadcast with the blood of Jesus. I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. Before we go into our topic for tonight and prayers, Let's start with the solution. We all know that Jesus Christ is the solution. Hallelujah. So let's start from the solution really quick. Because the Lord is going to take us to, to some deep issues tonight. Let's go to Mark 5, 8. Hallelujah. Mark 5, 8. Please, um, if you have your Bible, 
Turn with me to Mark 5, 8. I'm going to try to move swiftly, but also move with the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Mark 5, 8. For he said unto him, Come out of the mouth, thou unclean spirit. Hallelujah. This was Jesus um, casting out the evil spirit from the man of the gallery. Mark 5, 41. And he took the damsel by the hand and said unto her, Talita kumin, which is being interpreted, damsel, I say unto thee, Arise, even Jesus was raising the dead. Kaye kere your victory is guaranteed tonight in the name of Jesus. Mark 2 11. Hallelujah. I say unto thee, Arise, take up thy bed and go thy way into thy house. Somebody say, Thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. You will never be the same after this program. Somebody say, thank you, Jesus. Let's go to John eleven forty two. 42. Hallelujah. And I knew that thou hearest me always, but because of the people who stand by, I said it, that they may believe that thou hast sent me. Thank you, Jesus. That is just to show us that we already have a solution even before the problem. But before we start praying, I want us to pray from a place of understanding. Because every time that I do the things of the Lord with understanding, I see that the, 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 the answer is, has much, much impact. It is better to pray with understanding. So we're going to go and look and say, what is this familiar spirit? What is familiar spirit? Hallelujah. Familiar spirits are spirits that go from generation to generation. They can manifest in, for example, maybe they'll manifest in all the women in the family or all the men in the family or they will choose all the first bonds. They have a pattern, usually, that they will manifest. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Familiar spirits usually stay in the family. God bless you, my sister. You are welcome. God bless you. Familiar spirits usually stay in the family. They stay in the bloodline. Hallelujah. They can stay in the family. They can stay in the bloodline. And the bloodline is, is, is a much thicker bondage because the life of a flesh... It's in the blood. Leviticus 17, 11. Or they can stay in a piece of property. They can stay in the father's compound, in the mother's compound, in the tree, in any strange places. But they will always try to have a connection with people that come from that household. That is what we call familiar spirit. Hallelujah. So we have established that familiar spirits are responsible. They are the spirits that go from generation to generation. So they followed your mother. Oh, they followed your mother's mother. She passed. They followed your mother. Guess who they're coming after? You. They followed your great-great-granddad. They followed your granddad. They followed your dad. Guess who's the next target? You. Okay? They followed your generation, let's say 10 generations back. They've been in the family. Nobody has challenged them. Nobody has cast them out. Nobody has said, in the name of Jesus, get out from this family. Guess what they're doing? They're chilling. Still trying to follow you. That is the truth. That is why they're familiar spirits. They know the patterns of your family. They know your, weak, your, the, your family's weaknesses. They know that your, 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 what your father used to like, what your mother used to like, the food you guys used to eat when you were a child. They know you, everything about you. There are demons that are intelligent. They, know, they, they can bring out a book like this and begin to flip to the pages. Or oh, when you were five, this happened. When you were six, this happened. This happened to you when you were a baby. When, was your, when, when your mom was pregnant with you, she was eating um, strange animals, strange beds. <laughs> I'm telling you, they know you to the, to the detail. They know you very well. They are spirits and they do not die. That's what they call familiar spirits. Hallelujah. So when you now grow up and you say, okay, I'm born again, I'm a Jesus. I'm, and if your parents did not deal with the spirit, the spirit will deal with you. So if you do not then deal with them, they will deal with you and move on to your children. That is why the Lord is here tonight, tonight, to break you free from the grip, from the clutches of familiar spirit. These are powerful demons that have intel on you. Correct intel on you. They know everything about your life. Everything about your life. And we're going to go to the scriptures because I like to speak from the scriptures. And I'm also going to share my testimony so that you can see that it's not just 
is an, an experience is also in the word of God. So what are the generational patterns that are at work in your life? So just have a minute, just say, Holy Ghost, refresh my memory. What are the patterns that are in my life? What are the generational patterns that are in my life? Just be honest with yourself because the Lord is going to do a work. He's going to move. The Spirit of God is going to move tonight. I can guarantee you. But the power of the Holy Ghost is here tonight. But you then need to yield your vessel and be available. So say, what are the generational patterns that are work in my life? Was there poverty in your foundation? Was there divorce? What are the patterns I can see in my mother that is not of God that is repeating in my life? Oh, I spent... I spent a bit of time with my grandmother. I noticed this thing about her. My mother has this thing. Is this thing in me? I used to go see my granddad every weekend. I noticed this thing in his life. He had anger. My dad has anger. Me too, it's like I have anger. Familiar spirit. In the blood. In the blood. In the blood. Hallelujah. So, they are, what powers are in charge of your family? What powers are in charge of your bloodline? For decades or centuries, they might have been there. And your family will accept it. Oh, it's normal. People from this family, they're very angry. Don't get them angry. Once you get them angry, they can fight you from now till the end. They will never stop. They are fighters. It is in the blood. Familiar spirits. Bloodline. It is in your bloodline. Listen, if I meet somebody, if I really want to get to know them, I don't want to know, oh, this is what I do. This is what I do. I want to know, tell me your foundation. I want to ask you about your father. Who's your mom? Who's your father? Where'd you come from? What happened to you? From telling me about that part of your life, I can I can just tell you about yourself. I don't need to know. Or It doesn't matter if you, you are, you, your parents are in South Africa or in Nigeria, in Congo, in Zambia, and you, you're in the UK. It doesn't matter. Spirits, they don't need no visa to go into no country. And if they're in the blood, guess what? Wherever you are, they're there. Somebody say, Holy Ghost, deliver me. Blood of Jesus, purge my blood. These familiar spirits are extremely familiar with your life. They know you in and out. They know your journey. They have been with you from cradle to where you are now. And if that spirit is in the blood, then it has been passed down from parent to child. And even if it's not in the blood... They are, the powers are possessive that they will try to cling onto you. They will like to play, re, repeat the tricks that they played on your parents. Repeat it on your life. Unless you then arise and defeat them. And that is what we're going to do tonight. Somebody begin to get in the mood of prayer. Say, I arise with the sword of the Lord. And I begin to cut down every familiar spirit in my generation. In the mighty name of Jesus, pick up the sword of the Lord by faith, my sister, my brother. Say, I arise with the sword of the Lord. I begin to cut down every familiar spirit in my family. I caught you down with the sword of the Lord. I caught you down. I caught you down. I caught you down. In the mighty name of Jesus. This is not the prayers you pray and you're distracted. This is not the prayers you pray and your mind is somewhere else. These powers, they have been there. If you're going to come to them, you better come correct. You come in, in the name of Jesus, but go aggressively. From the days of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffered violent and violent, did violent, taken it by force. You must snatch your freedom by force. Say, no, 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 no. I will not repeat the mistakes of my mother. It's not possible. It's not possible. No, no, no. You have to, They have to know that you're serious. Okay, before we start praying properly, let's look at the sort of examples of this familiar spirit. Some of the things that we see, like sometimes you go to the GP and they said, oh, did your mom have this and this? Did your mom have, your father has this and this? It is familiar spirit. Medically, the thing is in the blood. Obviously, it's in the blood. But we know that before there was a physical manifestation, there is a spiritual establishment. It has to be agreed in the realm of the spirit. Oh, this family, they all have this such and such and such sickness, such and such and such disease, whatever, whatever. So example of this familiar spirit can manifest in the form of poverty. Maybe the family was so poor. 
It's like, no, they will walk, 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 walk like elephants and eat like an ant. Familiar spirits. Lost. Maybe the father used to manifest so much lust. He loved women. He loved women. Every, you marry how many wives? Marry your mother, marry your mother, you know, your mother's co-mates and just be marrying up and down. Maybe it was sexual perversion that was in the family. Sometimes you see some families that there has been a there has been a trait of sexual perversion. Maybe the parents did some sexually perverse stuff. Now the child growing up become an adult begins to repeat that history. He doesn't know why he's doing it. Is the spirit? It's in the blood. It could be adultery. Your, your mother slept outside marrying the different man. You too. You didn't break that curse and you got married. That spirit will come and be pushing you to come and repeat the same. Your father was not faithful to your mother. Or your grandparents, was, your granddad was not faithful to your grandmother. Guess what? History is going to want to repeat itself because of this familiar spirit in the blood. It could be fornication, addiction, poverty, divorce. I sat down and I examined my mother's family. I'm going to share this testimony to the glory of God. Because sometimes when I'm talking, people think, oh, maybe she's just talking. No, no. By the, by the glory of God, what God has delivered me from. If you think you have battles. <laughs> I'm not trying to, but what God has delivered me from, only him can take the glory. I've shared bits and pieces of my testimony on this channel. But if I should go for a one length testimony, it's probably going to take 24 hours and the tape will still be rolling. But it's going to come as, as we grow together on this channel. But I'm going to share this about my, because I just mentioned divorce can be, can be that familiar spirit manifesting the family. And I want to share this testimony to the glory of God and to the shame of the devil. This is my family now I'm talking about. This is not I heard or I read. As we're talking about family spirit, let me just be honest. So I noticed in my mother's family, the women, my mother married my dad. The marriage didn't work. They broke up when I was quite young. They divorced, actually. Not broke up. They properly had a proper divorce. She moved out. My dad raised, you know, so it was then me and my brother. Okay. And then when I grew up and I became, I was now in Christ. And I realized, oh, hang on. My grandmother, my mom's mom. My, my mom's mom. So my, my, my dad's mom was a second husband. It wasn't something that was obvious in the family, but I remember because I had an aunt that was not of the same father with my mom. But the marriage must have been so quick. I don't know what happened. She moved in, moved out, whatever. But obviously that was, you know, but I know, oh, she too. So my mother, the, her first marriage broke up. My mother's mother, her first marriage did not work. But I didn't express this, but I can tell because one of my aunt is not the same father as my mother. Okay, and then my great grandmother, and I remember from the stories I heard that she, that because of how many siblings she had, that that her first marriage was not her only marriage. So I said, "Hang on, Jesus, three generations of divorce. What? My mother didn't work. Grandmother didn't work. Great grandmother did not work. Hey, hey wow, blood of Jesus. Cut it, evil. This is not my portion." I said, this cannot be my portion. It's not going to happen. TV generations like that, it did not, they, they divorced. The first marriage did not last. It didn't work. All their first marriages did not. They had to marry again. I said, you damn power that swallows marriages in my mother's family. I am not your candidate. You cannot swallow my marriage. You cannot even try it. I said, I began to pray. I began to bind. I began to lose. I began to pray everything I can pray. I began to say, God, I cannot save you and repeat the history and the pattern of my mother's house. It's not possible. It's not going to happen. Now, that is my story I'm sharing with you. But this is for you to then think about your own life. I'm sharing this with you because I want you to begin to think. Think about your mother's family. Think about your father's family. Begin to think. It's not just for you to hear story time. It's for you to think and say, hang on a minute. What is that pattern that I see repeating in my mother's family? Now I've seen that the, the, the power there 
comes for marriages. So it is giving me wisdom to battle, to fight. So it's not like I'm going to get married, I'll just rush into any marriage or marry without hearing from God. Just You'll just be a bit wiser by learning the patterns of your father's house and the mother's house. And when you truly serve God, obviously that curse is a curse. It's a generational curse. It had, it had to be broken. It, I, I said, I will not repeat the history of my mother, God forbid, or my mother's mother. They're lovely women, but they did not deal with the, the deal in the foundation. That power, God said to me, there is, God said to me, <clears throat> God said to me, God bless you, sister. God said to me, there is a power in your family that swallows marriages. Deal with it. Fight it. I'm, I've given you power. God give me revelation. There is a power in your mother's family that swallows marriages. And guess what, my daughter? That power has not been dealt with. I said, ah, so I am the one that had to fight up it. Then rise up and fight that battle. So familiar spirit is not a joke. It's not something that you just think of oh, familiar spirit. Is. They're serious. If they can affect three generations of women and attack their marriages, it was for different reasons that their marriages did not work. But that power made sure that they, they did not stay in the first marriage. The ma it doesn't matter if the man was an angel or he, or he was a devil. But you see, the, the way the power will work, it will push you to marry somebody that you have to... They have to just manipulate it one way or the other. <coughs> That's my testimony <coughs> that I had to break, that God showed me that. I said, no, this cannot repeat itself in my life. It's not my portion. So now you know my testimony, I'm going to move on. So it could be gambling, drunkenness, bad temper. It could be polygamous genes, like what I just mentioned. You move from one man to another man to another man to another man. Or one woman to another woman to another woman. You just keep moving. You think it's the man or it's you. It's the power. It's the demon. It is the familiar spirit. It is in the blood. That is why when I pray, I pray for a place of understanding. I pray for a place of understanding. Sister, that is why God has brought you here tonight to fight. This is a revelation knowledge that's going to set you free. Because if you know your battles, guess what? You can deal with it head on. The demons can no longer hide. Now you know there's a demon that makes now you know there's a demon that makes that, that, that makes women in my family to be out of, to have children out of wedlock. Now you know there is a spirit that makes that swallows marriages in my mother's family. Now you know you're not ignorant. Do not be ignorant of the devil's devices. Because of ignorance, what does the Bible say? My people perish. We cannot fight out of ignorance. We must fight from understanding. And when you have your battle plan, this is how the devil comes. It comes from marriages or whatever. You know how to fight back. It could be bad temper. Some men, ah, oh, some men have bad temper. When you tell them, why are you so always angry? My father used to be like that. That's alarm bells for me. Your father used to be so angry. And you think he's a good trait. Familiar spirit in the blood. Caribou, shut up. Holy Ghost fire is going to liberate many people tonight. I'm telling you. The devil is a liar. Some people is pride. Some people is so some people they're so disrespectful. You meet them, it's like, did you not have any respect growing up? It is in the blood. Some people are so rude. Some women just talk and gossip. They need, they need the deliverance of the mouth. It is in the blood. Because if you probably met their mother, their mother used to talk just the same way they talked. You met their grandmother, the same thing. It is in the blood. Some people they just have cold personality, they don't know how to love. No compassion. You ask them, why are you like this? Oh, my father used to be like that. He was very strict when I was growing up. Ah, it is in the blood. It is in the blood. It is in the blood. Let's take this prayer point before we continue. Please, pray with fire and with anger and with thunder. Get up on your feet and pray. And you've heard my testimony. So, please, pray. Say, every familiar spirit <coughs> assigned against my life. I judge you by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. <coughs> Begin to pray. Say, every familiar spirit assigned against my life, I judge you by fire. I judge you by fire. Every familiar spirit assigned against my life, 
Reketeketete. I judge you by fire. I judge you by fire. I judge you now. I judge you now. I judge you now. You, the familiar spirits of my mother's house, of my father's house, are signed against my life. Rakatekerebo. I judge you by fire. 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 I judge you now. I judge you now. Every familiar spirits are signed against my life. I judge you by fire. <coughs> In the mighty name of Jesus. We have more prayer points to pray at the end. But I want us to understand. Pray with what? Understanding. Because when you pray with understanding, you can understand that your prayer is coming from a place of, it's like you are so angry in your spirit. Or it's like you're already breaking through because you understand what you're praying about. I'm telling you, 70 to 80% of your battles did not start with you. It is not you, my sister. It is not that the man does not want to stay. It is not that you cannot get a good job. It is not that, you know, poverty is your portion. But it's because it is in the blood. It is the familiar demons. It is not you. <coughs> if, for example, the man was a bad person, it is the spirit that pushed you there. Where did you leave all the good men in the world? And it is the one that, you know, that would jit you, that you went to follow. It is the spirit. It is not you, my sister. It is the spirit. If they, they, one way or the other, they will push you. Go, 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 go this way, go this way. They will bring that man. That man has his own familiar spirit that in his family, the father did not stay for him. Right? Okay, watch this. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Catch this revelation. Catch it, catch it, catch it. So that man, they'll, they'll bring the man that his dad walked out on his mom. <coughs> Pardon me, I'm being ill from a, a cold, but it, this will not stop the work of God. They'll bring you the man that his dad did not stay. So he doesn't know what it feels to have a dad. It is that same man that they will push to connect to you. That you, your father, your father did not stay. Both of you, the demons will connect. It's like demons connect. Because they want to repeat history. It is not you. The battle started in the blood. The battle started with your parents. <coughs> the battle started with your parents' parents. The battle did not begin from you because you did not fall from a tree. You came from somewhere, my friend, my sister. You came from a root. You have a root. Every tree have a root. Just because you see somebody, <coughs> the devil is a liar. I am healed in Jesus' name. Just because you see somebody, they're tall, beautiful, elegant. You forget as a wise man that you have to go and examine the roots. Okay, I see this tree. <coughs> it is beautiful. It is elegant. What is underneath the root? What is in the root? Let me check it. We don't do that. We just jump. Oh, it's beautiful. Just jump and carry. Oh, yeah, woman. You see, beautiful, handsome. <coughs> Cut and dry up every sore throat in the name of Jesus. You see a man. <coughs> Tall, handsome, rich, but you don't examine the roots. You don't do your homework. You just jump and follow him. And then you're shocked when all these things are manifesting. Oh my, did you forget to do your assignment? Check the roots. Examine the roots. Check it. People that do agriculture will check the roots. Hallelujah. <coughs> Tendencies and inclinations towards some of the things in your life can be repeated patterns, e.g., mistrust. Thank you, my sister. God bless you. I have, <laughs> I have orange juice. I might have a bit of orange juice. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The devil cannot stop the work of God. It's not possible. He tried to stop it, but God said, come online tonight. Because I want to set my people free. That is why I'm here. So the Lord that sent me will sustain me. <coughs> Hallelujah. So it can. these patterns can manifest as mistrust, abandonment, depression, anxiety, even suicidal attempts. You see, oh, this one's father tried to commit suicide. Now he's trying to commit, now his style of life, he wants to commit suicide. This one, God bless you, brother. This one used to have anxiety. My father, this one's father used to suffer from anxiety. Now he's manifesting anxiety, familiar spirits. Oh, the parents used to have depression, but now. 
she or him is manifesting depression, familiar spirit. If you study your family history, if you sit down and say, Lord, help me, bring into things my memory, remind me of things, there must be, there must, the things that must have been said in your family. Say, God, remind me, I want to know. If you sit down, take a pen and a paper, begin to just write down things that come to your mind. Study your family history. You can see that a trend has been there that is not of God. A curse has been passed down. Highly, most likely. The iniquities of your forefathers can be passed down to you. The iniquities, the sin your ancestors committed can still be flowing in that blood if you do not terminate it by the blood of Jesus. At this junction, let us pray. Say, I terminate every iniquity in my bloodline by the blood of Jesus. I terminate every iniquity. I terminate every iniquity. I terminate every iniquity in my bloodline by the blood of Jesus. I terminate every iniquity. I terminate every iniquity in my bloodline by the blood of Jesus. Now that we have done our study, let's go to the Bible. Because I like us to use the word of God all the time so that we can see it for ourselves that this or two is in the Bible. Hallelujah. Let's go to Genesis 12 verses 11. I want to show you something real quick before we begin to pray. <coughs> Genesis 12 verses 11. Hallelujah. Are you there? Okay. And it says, It came to pass, when he came near to enter into Egypt, that he said unto Sarah his wife, Behold, I know that thou art a fair woman to look upon. Therefore it shall come to pass, when the Egyptians shall see thee, they shall say, This is his wife. And they will kill me, but they will save thee alive. Say, I pray thee, that thou art my sister, that it may be well with me for thy sake. Abraham lied. His first lie. Abraham, that God was with him, decided to, because of fear, he lied. Okay. I'm building something. Please stay with me. I'm going to show you something that manifests. Just please be patient. Now let's go to Genesis 20 verses 2. <coughs> Genesis 20 verses 2 Are you there please? Yeah And Abraham said of Sarah his wife She is my sister And Abimelech king of Gera Sent and took Sarah How many times did Abraham lie twice? Abraham lied twice That Sarah was his sister Two different occasions Okay Hallelujah automatically or whatever happened the spirit of lion attached himself to Abraham and his bloodline because then you can see that Isaac also lied even if the lion must have come from a place of fear it passed down to the blood his son now begins to walk in his footstep let's go to Genesis 26 please Thank you, Holy Ghost. Genesis 26, verses 6 and 7. And Isaac dwelt in Gerah, and the men of the place asked him of his wife, and he said, She is my sister. <laughs> she is my sister. Exactly what the father said about his mother, he says about his wife. Familiar spirit in the blood. These are men of God. They, they were not worshipping idols. These were princes. God has promised Abraham from you, the nations of the world will bless. This, but his son lied. The same lie he lied. <coughs> Hallelujah. Let's begin to pray. Say, God, open my eyes. We're going to continue. But let's just pray. Say, Father, open my eyes. Lord, open my eyes to see what you want me to see about my family. <coughs> Say, Lord, open my eyes. Lord, open my eyes. Open my eyes to see what you want me to see about my father's house. Open my eyes to see what you want me to see about my mother's house. 
Help me, O oh Lord. Open my eyes in the name of Jesus. Okay, so now Abraham lied and Sarah lied. Um, Abraham lied, Isaac lied. Abijah wife, same sort of lie. How deep is it that Abraham lied? And his son repeated the same exact mistake. Does it mean that <coughs> the lie went into the blood? Does it mean that how did who told Isaac to lie? Who told Isaac to lie about that the, the same lie? Because Abraham was dead, then Abraham did not come and say, By the way, my son, if they ask you who's Rebecca, say she's your sister. But the familiar spirit was there, pushed Isaac to lie. The familiar spirit had a record. Oh, your father told such and such a lie at this such and such a time. Now you have just you're going to repeat the same thing because it is the pattern of your family. And even if Isaac did not want to lie, the familiar spirit will go and create pressure, circumstances that will create fear and cause Isaac to repeat the same mistake that his that his father did. Hmm. Pray like this: the blood of Jesus purge my bloodline. Blood of Jesus, raka take it bo shut up. Purge my bloodline. Purge me. Take it, take it, it, it. I will not repeat the mistake of my father. I will not repeat the mistake of my mother. Blood of Jesus, purge my bloodline. My kerede shetakara bo setaba. Reke te 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 kara da da da. Raka se ke te kere bo shetada bo serebo. Ye kere bo. Thou familiar spirit. Of my mother's sons. Die, 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 die. That familiar spirit. Of my father's sons. Die, 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 die. You have a lie. I will not repeat the mistake of my family. Re ke 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 ke. Ra pa te ke de bo she ta da bo. Re ke se ke de bo she te de de de. Re ke le de de ka ya da bo. Ra ka sa ta da bo. In the mighty name of Jesus. And if you thought, oh, it's only Abraham and Isaac. Okay. I'm going to show you the cherry on the cake. Was when Jacob took lying to another level. Jacob took the trophy of lying in his family. Hallelujah. Somebody said, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, for, thank you for setting me free from the grip of familiar spirits. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ma te 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 te. What sin of your parents is in your blood? Begin to ask yourself. Because the sin of Abraham was deposited in the blood of Isaac that made Isaac to manifest the same behavior at the same circumstances. That's why people don't stay in marriages because that demon will not come. It's in the blood. It will push them out of that marriage. Think about it. What sin of your parents is in your blood? What are the things that you've seen in your parents that displeases you? Now you're beginning to manifest them. It is in the blood. Hey! Hey! Blood of Jesus! Kata te 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 ke le de Re ke te ke de bo shata ba ka de bo Re ke se ke begin to pray Begin to pray Say blood of Jesus Purge The iniquities of my parents out of my blood In the mighty name of Jesus Blood of Jesus Call upon the blood Call upon the blood. You have been purchased. You have been redeemed by the precious blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Purge the iniquities of my parents out of my blood. Purge it out. Purge it out. Purge it out. I don't want their iniquities. I will not repeat their mistake. Kaye kerede kerebo. Rekese kerebo. Purge it out of me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Karabo shataba. Somebody said, thank you, Jesus. Okay, now let's go to Jacob. Jacob manifested to a greater dimension this familiar spirit that is in the bloodline. Because Abraham lied twice. Isaac lied once. Jacob lied six times. Six times. <laughs> Minus the part where he deceived his brother. I'm not even counting that one. If you read, I'm going to tell you the lies that he lied. From Genesis 27, read it on. I'm not going to check the scriptures now because of time, because we need to pray. But study it in your own time. Jacob lied by pretending to be Esau. <clears throat> he lied about his name. He lied about the food, that he made the food. He didn't make the food. So two, 
He lied about that it was God. Maybe it was God that made me to be so quick. Three. He lied about his um his um um that he cooked the food. He told six lies in total. Six lies. He he multiplied it times three and lied. The lie of his of his grandfather. And yes, you can say, oh, it was his mother. Rebecca pushed him to do it, but it was already in his blood. That is why when Rebecca said it, he did not say no, mom. Let God do it. I can't do it to my brother. No, Jacob was like, okay, I'm ready. Give me the food. Give me the, you know, it's fine. Because it is in his blood. It was there. He, had, he was programmed into his blood. Blood of Jesus. My blood is available. Patch iniquity out of me. The devil set the same trap of pressure and fear to make, to pull out those lying genes that was in Jacob's blood. God, God had already said, I will bless you. You'll be more blessed than your brother. God did not need the help of Rebecca or Jacob to fulfill his promise. But you see, the devil, because it was in the blood, the familiar spirits was there manipulating him. Many of us have promises from God because we're born again, we're sanctified by the Holy Ghost. But the familiar spirit, we have not dealt with it. That is why it will push you to the wrong man. God said, I will give you marriage, but you don't want to wait. You're not patient enough. You want to do your own thing. The familiar spirit will come and help you to disobey God. It will push you to the wrong partner. God will say, wait, I'll give you a good job. The spirit will not be patient. It will come. Make it to lie. Make it to deceive others. The way the spirit operates is that they will appear as normal circumstances. Maybe different from what your parents went through. They will come through <coughs> timidity, pressure, or fear. And before you know it, you are already repeating the patterns of your father's house. <coughs> Hallelujah. Jacob could have refused and stood his ground. But instead, he followed his mother's advice. Jacob agreed to cheat his brother of his blessings, thanks to his mom. So you can see that the bloodline, the bloodline is a very serious issue. Show me a man and show me his foundation and I will tell you who he is. Not show me a man and show me his friend. It was the foundation that led him to those friends. People, people get it wrong. Not like, show me a man and show me his friend, I will tell you. No, show me a man and show me his foundation. And I will tell you who that man is. Because he will be that same foundation, that same bloodline that will lead him to those friends or whatever he does in his life. So we need now the blood of Jesus to purge out of our lives iniquity. And we need the statuses of the Lord. To be able to break free from this sin that is in the bloodline. You can never use the devil's method to accomplish God's promises. It's not going to happen. You better just wait for God. Don't compromise. You better just be patient. You better humble yourself and be patient. <laughs> it's prayer time. <coughs> I'm going to call it prayer points. You pray. I pray over you. Now you have you've taken... 40 minutes over 40 minutes to just make you understand what familiar spirit is how they operate now is now prayer time every man for himself find a corner in your house do what you have to do please begin to pray begin to pray my sister begin to pray i will be praying over you as the spirit needs but make sure that you're praying too and this is not a one-time prayer Make sure that you, that you understand your battle. Make sure that after this program, you go away and be like, okay, so this is how it is. No problem. I know how to deal with you in powers. Hallelujah. Let's just begin to thank the Lord. Say you familiar spirits, hunting for my life. Die, 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 die. In the name of Jesus, beloved, I declare upon your life, every familiar spirit that is haunting for your life, they shall die. They shall die. 
that, 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 I command you. Kate, kate, te, reke, rebo, shataba. Makaye, begin to pray. There's no point of watching me. Just pray. Reke, se, kere, bo, shataba. Make, te, kere, bo. Reke, se, kere, de. Reke, te, kere, bo. Rakaye, de, 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 de. Rapo, de, de, de. Reke, te, 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 te. Every familiar spirit hunting for your life, they shall die. They shall die. In the mighty name of Jesus. Pray like this. Say, thou familiar spirit that has studied my parents and is, thou, and is now studying my life for downfall. Pray to say, thou familiar spirit that has studied my parents and is now studying my life for downfall, I bind you in the name of Jesus. Begin to repeat, I bind you, I bind you. Matthew 18, 18. Whatever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you shall lose on earth shall be lose in heaven. Rekete bo shataba. Rekete begin to bind them. Say, I bind you. I bind you. Familiar spirit in my blood. In my foundation. I bind you. 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 Rase kerede. Rekete de. I bind you. 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 Rakete te te. Makaye kerede. In the name of Jesus. Say you the idols of my father's house. I bury you by fire. Rekete te te. Beloved, I want to hear your voice. Pray, pray, pray. You, the idols of my father's house, I bury you by fire. I bury you by fire. I bury you now. I bury you now. You, the idols of my father's house, I bury you by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. Raka te te te. Reke te bo shataba. Raka de bo. Pardon me. You, the idols of my father's house, I bury you by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. I bury you now. I bury you now. I bury you now. You, the idols of my father's house, I bury you by fire. In the name of Jesus. Familiar demons in my blood, I cast you out. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Every familiar demon in your blood, be cast out. Be cast out by the power and authority. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every familiar spirit in your blood, I cast them out. I cast them out. I cast them out. Rakate today. Repo Shalaba. Rekete. Lekete. You the familiar spirit. Manipulating our life. Your time is up. In the mighty name of Jesus. I cash what lose her. Let her go. Makaye kerebo shataba. In the name of Jesus. Say Holy Ghost fire. Consume the idols of my father's house. Makete te te. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire, consume the idol of my father's house, consume them, consume them, consume them, consume them by fire. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost fire, consume the idols of my father's house in the mighty name of Jesus. Rekedebo Shataba. Say, I will not repeat the mistakes of my father's house. I will not. I will not repeat the errors of my mother's house. I refuse. Begin to declare upon yourself. Say, I, Grace, call your name. Say, I will not repeat. If I have done it in the past, that is in the past. Moving forward, I will not repeat the mistakes of my father's house. I will not repeat the errors of my mother's house. In the mighty name of Jesus, say, I disconnect my life from every familiar spirit. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I disconnect my life. I disconnect my life. Beloved, disconnect your life. You have the power to disconnect your life. Because the word of God says, This day I put before you life and death. Choose ye. You have the power to choose life. Life is in Jesus Christ. So because of Jesus and the blood that was shed, disconnect your life. Say, I disconnect my life from the powers of my father's house. In the mighty name of Jesus, every familiar spirit in my foundation, I disconnect my life from you. I disconnect my life from you. In the mighty name of Jesus, pray like this. 
Say monitoring familiar spirits. Creating chaos in my life. Die, 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 Every familiar spirit. Monitoring your life. Creating problems. Creating sorrow in your life. I command them to die. Die. In the name of Jesus. Die. 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 Die by fire. Die now. In the name of Jesus. Familiar spirits of my ancestors. My life is not for sale. Beloved, pray. Say, familiar spirits of my ancestors. My life is not for sale. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Rakatete. Reketete. Rapokatete. Makayedede. Rekayekada. Rakatekede. You, the familiar spirits of my ancestors. My life is not for sale. My life is not for sale. In the mighty name of Jesus. Catch fire. 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 In the name of Jesus. Say, I begin to lay my foundation on our Lord Jesus Christ. I begin to lay my foundation on our Lord Jesus Christ because the Bible says that there is no other foundation that can be laid other than, that, other than what Jesus Christ has already laid. Pray like this. Every covenant with familiar spirit be nullified by the blood of Jesus. Every covenant with familiar spirits be nullified. Be nullified by the blood. Reketetede. Makashetebo. Every covenant with familiar spirits be nullified by the blood. By the blood of the Lamb. Makatetede. Every covenant with familiar spirits. I dissolve you by the blood. In the mighty name of Jesus. Don't be tired, beloved. Don't be tired. Keep praying. Pray against them. Say, Maribu Shataba. Oh, altar of familiar spirit, break and scatter every altar of familiar spirit in your father's compound, in your mother's compound. I command you to break and scatter, break and scatter, break and scatter, break and scatter every connection the familiar spirit has to your life to link you up. I break and scatter, I break and scatter you unclean spirit. I bind you, I bind you, I bind you, I bind you. I bind you, I bind you, I bind you in the name of Jesus. Makatekere, rekeyekere, rekerebo. I bind you, I bind you, you familiar demons. Let her go, let him go, let her go, let him go. Lose him, lose her, lose him, lose her, lose her, lose her. Now, in the name of Jesus, Levit, you're free. You are free. Every covenant. You have with the familiar spirits. I dissolve it by the power in the blood of Jesus. Every monitoring device the familiar spirit uses against you. I cancel it in the mighty name of Jesus. Every man, every woman, the familiar spirit has sent into your life. I send them back. Back to sender. Back to sender. Back to sender. I send them packing in the name of Jesus. Every craftiness. Of the familiar spirit to manipulate you. I destroy it now. I destroy it now. I destroy it now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every agenda of the familiar spirit to cajole you into repeating the mistakes of your parents. Be destroyed. Be destroyed by the power in the blood of Jesus. You are redeemed from the errors of your father's sons. You are redeemed from the error in your mother's sons. I declare there be a blood transfusion. Upon your life, I transfuse the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ into your vest, into your vessel, and any evil blood be purged out by the blood. Any familiar spirit trailing your life to make you to, to create a downfall, let them be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. That familiar spirit binding you, I command them to lose you, lose her, lose her, lose her, let her go by the blood. I begin to invoke the blood, the blood of the Lamb, to set you free. You familiar spirit, lose her, lose her, lose her, lose her. She's free. She's free from your hold. I break every covenant you have with the familiar spirit, every chain binding you spiritually, 
invisibly. This is from next week. Be broken. Be broken. Break. 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 Makatetete. Rekelebo shataba. Jesus is supporting her. That's right. I said, Jesus is supporting her. You must let her go. Jesus has come to set her free. Jesus is losing you, beloved. You're loose. Like the donkey that was tied down to that tree. And he became familiar for, with that place for a long time. Because he was tied down there for such a long time. That place was all he knew. That is an example of familiar spirit wickedness. But when Jesus sent for that donkey to be loose, Jesus said, Tell them I have need for this cause. Tell them I have need for this donkey. That was all Jesus did. He sent the word, beloved, in that same mandate. As a representative of our Lord Jesus Christ, as an ambassador of our Lord Jesus Christ, I send the word of Jesus. I send the words of Jesus into every power, into every place in your village, into every hut, into every river, into every tree that you have been tied down. And I send the word, Jesus has need of her. So let her go. Let her go. Lose her. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus, I speak to that brother. That demon of your father's house that has tied a rope, a spiritual rope to your neck, and you are millions of miles away, but that rope still connects you all the way back to your root from where you came from. I send the word to that power. I don't care to know who that power was, who that power is, but I send the word as an ambassador of our Lord Jesus Christ in the flesh. And I speak to that power. Jesus has need of him. So let him go. Lose him. 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 Right now. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Because Jesus has need of him. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody say, thank you, Jesus, for setting me free. Somebody say, thank you, Jesus. I soak our prayers in the blood of Jesus. I soak you in the blood of Jesus. Everybody that is under the sound of my voice, as you watch this tape, there shall be a manifestation of your deliverance from familiar spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, Jesus, for what you've done. Holy Ghost, I thank you. I give you all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Just spend some more time in the presence of God before you go to bed. And keep praying, say God, as you set that donkey free from his familiar environment that he was probably there for years. Powerful cup that God was going to use but it was tied down. Say, God, if you can set a cut free, you can set me free. God, I have become your biggest challenge. Set me free. That is your prayer point. That God should deliver you from the powers of family spirit. And he will. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for tuning in. God bless you. And I'll catch you on the next update. God bless you.